The mosaic effect can be found under the stylized category and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to this adjustment layer so that it affects everything in my comp. What this effect does is breaks up the entire image into individual blocks of color, basically exaggerated pixels. And we have two different controls for how big those are, the number of horizontal blocks and the number of vertical blocks. And this is stretched out to the width and height of your comp. So since I have a 16 by nine comp, I have 16 by nine blocks since they're both set to 10. But I can change their sizes simply by increasing the amount of blocks in either the horizontal axis or the vertical axis. So if I wanna see a little bit more detail, I'll just crank these up. And now I basically have a pixelated image of my entire comp. And if I increase this to 1920 blocks horizontally and 1080 blocks vertically, then I don't see any pixelation at all because that is the number of pixel blocks there actually are in the width and height of my comp. Now that I'm here, I could say divide each of these by 10, just take off the zero off of each of them. And now my pixels are 10 times as large. And if I want them even to be another factor of 10, I could say divided by 10 and divided by 10. And they'll again be 10 times larger. Now let me undo back to this state. I kind of liked this 10 times pixelization. And the only other control we have is this checkbox for sharp colors. So if I check that, it's just going to add a lot more contrast to all of those pixels rather than trying to flatten the colors out and smooth them all together a little bit more. So this can be a desirable effect if you're trying to go for that crunchy pixelated 8-bit look. And it works great on top of vector graphics. If I turn off the text layer and the photo layer, here's my logo at that 10 times pixel size. It really does look like a retro pixelated video game. If I turn those sharp colors off and back on, you can see that it's really just taking out a lot of the anti-aliasing that's happening between those blocks of color. Now, if you wanted to keep these square without having to do a bunch of math, we could have After Effects do that math for us just by using a few simple expressions. So I want to drive the vertical blocks based on the horizontal blocks property. So I'll double click on one of those to bring it up down here in the timeline. I just need to know the relationship between these two values. And I don't even have to think about this because I can go up to my composition, composition settings and look right here. It says my aspect ratio is 16 to nine or a factor of 1.78 to one, meaning the width is 1.78 times larger than the height. So I'm gonna remember this number of 1.78 and I'm going to add an expression to the vertical blocks. Use my expression pick whip to grab the horizontal blocks and then divide that by 1.78 and click away. Now my number hasn't changed at all because it is now being calculated based on that factor of 1.78. So I could increase or decrease this number to whatever I want and my pixels will always be perfectly square now. All that math is done for me. The composition settings told me what number I needed to use here. It's as simple as that. Now I do wanna point out that if I move my logo around beneath this, those pixels are gonna get very chattery. And this is a drawback of using the mosaic effect on an adjustment layer. If instead of doing it this way, I just copied the effect and pasted it directly on my logo, then when I move it around, those pixels are going to stick with it no matter what. So that might be a better option. However, if you have many elements that you wanna apply this same mosaic effect to, but you don't wanna to have to manage all of these controls from different layers, I'll show you how to set that up real quick. I'm just gonna grab the text version of my logo real quick and bring that out. And what I wanna do is copy this mosaic effect to it. So now I have these two instances, but let's say that I wanna make the blocks even bigger. Well, I'm just gonna make a new null object by going up to layer, new null object, and I'm going to rename this controls. And then I'll paste the mosaic effect on top of that as well. I'm gonna change the label color to cyan just so we can see that there it is. A null object doesn't do anything on its own, but I'm gonna use it as a way to manage this effect on multiple layers. So now that I have it on that null object, I wanna select it, go up to edit, copy with property links. And what this does is copies that effect with expressions tied to each property of the effect, and then paste it on both of these layers. And it's going to replace the instance that was already there. Now both numbers have expressions on them, as well as the sharp colors property, and they're all just pointed at the controls instance of Mosaic. So I can go into that instance and turn this up or down, and it will affect everything that the effect has been applied to all in one place. So if I turn this text layer back on, I could copy this Mosaic effect, which is tied to the controls instance, paste it on there, and it will carry over. And that's a quick and efficient way to be able to manage many instances of the same effect all from one control layer. 
But that's all you need to know about the mosaic effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.